in this question, we have a simple bridge and the helicopter is resting on the bridge and the bridge has a mass of 15,000 newtons. And of course that will be coming from the center of the bridge. And we have a 9,000 newton helicopter, 23 meters from the left side. It's a good idea to place our point of rotation right here at this location. So I'll mark that with an X. That way it reminds us that all torques then will be coming from this side here. That way we don't have to deal with force number one. It will cancel out since the distance from the point of rotation is zero. We need to get force number two and force number one in this calculation. And we'll use torques first and sum of forces second. So let's do sum of all torques. And that's going to be about this position here. Does equal zero since the bridge is not moving. Let's do the uh, 15,000 newtons first. So that'd be minus 15,000. Since that is causing clockwise torque. And that's occurring at the center. So I'll divide this 28 by 2. Multiply that then by 14. Minus then the 9,000. That's also causing clockwise torque. And that's 23 meters from the point of rotation. And we have one more torque caused by the force normal 2. So plus force normal 2. And let's look and see how far that is from the point of rotation. That's 28 meters. So we'll multiply that by 28. And all of that equals 0. And we can easily find force normal 2's value. Force normal 2 is... 1,000 or 14,893 newtons. Okay, so now we know the value of force normal 2, 14,893 newtons. Now we get force normal 1. We can just add up all of the forces in the y direction. We know that equals 0. That saves us from having to do torques again. So we'll let that equal uh, force normal 1 going upwards. And then plus the 14,893, because that's also pointing upwards. And then minus 15,000, because that's downwards. And minus 9,000, because that's also downwards. All that equals 0, so we can find force normal 1's value. Force number one is 9,107 newtons.